Nope. And a music note. Yeah. Like, I'm the best at making sandwiches. <laughs> you know how to throw bread together better than anybody. Yeah. Here, here. Demon lightning hammer. Here, here. Demon lightning hammer. Here, here. Demon lightning hammer. I will just stand here and move my hand around in a circle like I'm preparing <laughs> a spell. But in actuality, you just... You're just standing there moving your hands. I'm sending good vibes to Reed. You're doing a kind of dance. Go, Reed, go! <laughs> Demon lightning hammer! Oh, God. Demon lightning hammer! I healed you. Thank you. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With all that TP. Do you think you could attack a little bit? Just like hit him with your staff or something? He'd have to change his AI. <laughs> Watching. Hmm. He's supposed to have a little bit of attack there. <laughs> probably have a nightmare these Hit with your stick! I did something! Yay! <laughs> I better go make sure that's stuck. More sandwich. Miracle gel! It's a miracle! Gotta find one more. Miracle gummy. It's like the wonder gummy. There were wonder gummies in the uh, mystery dungeon, I think. Oh. Down yet. Yeah, I was playing uh, Explorers of Sky recently, and I got two failures with the uh, the gold tickets. Oh. <laughs> I was like, don't tell me it's a loss, and the thing's like, that's right! All yeah. happy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's too bad. I'm like, why do you have to be so happy about that? Because all he ever says is, that's right, really I loud. Know. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> know. I am the last of Jungla, and I won't let you kill me. I will jump and survive. I will survive. Leap. Kill him! Fetch him! Kill him! Everybody attack! Oh, <laughs> they went in circles. It's okay, I, I punched him in mid jump. He was trying to survive. Never leave this first alive. No. <laughs> Orange Joe. Happy, happy. You can leave now. Got another bastard sword. This isn't the forest of temptation, this is the forest of being eternally lost and trapped. 
Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Purgatory? The Forest of Purgatory? Maybe the temptation is for the stoles. You're going, oh, tasty mortals! Maybe the temptation is because so many people are like, don't enter that forest! Don't do it! Mm -hmm. Don't do it! But it's so tempting! It. For some reason, for a lot of people, it's human nature to just, like, want to do things that when you're told not to. <laughs> That is true. Yeah. Don't ever go to the elephant graveyard. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh my god! Big <laughs> 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 Yay! Or not. Wait. <laughs> There's more. Just a little more. Secretly, you can work back to the start. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I like how Meredy uses her little scroll thing with that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I want an attack fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Strain Cavilla to attack things. <laughs> That'd be cute. And completely ineffective. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's she's afraid of bugs, so that won't work, I don't think. We're free! Oh my god. Right? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, good. Oh yeah, we are on the other side. Oh. I saw a bridge there, I'm like, wait. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla's not just afraid of bugs, she's afraid of ducks, too. She thinks she wants to go after the birds, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. <laughs> That's news to me. <laughs> they just look very intimidating when she's on a level with them. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Aflac. Whoa! This place is huge! I thought Minch was big, but this place is bigger yet! Of course, it's the capital of the Inferia Empire. Inferia. Mm. Whee! There is so many people! They are all, um, Inferians? Meredy, from here on, you can't dance, scream, or do anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> the city is congested with people. Even the slightest awkwardness might cause people to suspect that you are Celestia. Huh? Is being Celestian bad? They cannot suspect? No! Historically, Celestians have visited numerous disasters upon us. I'm quite certain that there are many who hold hatred for Celestians. Aww. Bye bye! Celestians not responsible for causing disasters? Mm -hmm. You need our help, right? Uh. Merity, it's unfortunate, but there's no question that there are a lot of people who dislike Celestians. Let's be careful, okay? You bet! Mmm. Don't forget. All right, all right. Let's go and meet the king. Hey, you. Hmm? You're from Rashians, right? Huh? How did you know? I'm a tailor. I can tell just by the clothes you wear. <laughs> You're wearing an incredibly old-fashioned Rashian's dye. Mm. What do you mean, old-fashioned? You're from Rashian's, you should know. The popular fashions in this city were all originally based on Rashian's dye. Really? Uh-huh. 
But it's been modified so much, it's not easy for an amateur to tell. I just called you an amateur. <laughs> I see. I had no idea Rashian's die was this well known. Can I punch him? <laughs> Go ahead. <sighs> My parents didn't want me to move to the city, but here I am. Hey, could you hire me for work? Uh, I'd really love to help you out, but... I'll do anything, please. But I don't want to do any work that's dirty, painful, or tiresome. I wonder where the village of Rashians is. Do you want to know? Nah, that's okay. I hear it's really far. <laughs> I'm lazy. Yeah. This city is always so full of life. That's it. <laughs> Golden dreams. Oh, so it raises vitality. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what I thought. Dreams. Yay! Well, that's not what we want. You have a lot of gold, though. Yeah, I better not spend it until I see what their armor and stuff looks like. It's yeah. good to be frugal sometimes. But I want you to come back and buy stuff. <gasps> I came to Inferia City hoping to meet my idol, Lord Luin, but... I'm just a commoner. He wouldn't want to see me. Yay. Sorry, but we're not hiring. Huh? Oh, are you staying here? I'm sorry! The port of Inferia is a little ways to the north from here. There is a ferry that runs to the city of trade, Birol, and the town of Academia, Minch. That pod isn't a wonder ship, is it? Or that plant? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, the plant that was down there? Nope. Nope. It's not cartoony looking enough. This is wonderful! I've always dreamed of staying at Hotel Inferia. I'm just gonna stare out the window now. Window. Ah, freedom from everyday cares. This is the life. I don't need a room or anything. I'm just gonna stare out the window in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Governors are demanding me at this point! Please turn back! <laughs> That means we have to get a suit. A suit? So oh. we don't look like a commoner. There's nobody more important in this world than Seyfert! The people of the past can't possibly be superior to the king of today! Seyfert isn't gone! He lives on in our hearts! Hmm. Whatever! I'm so happy. Huh? The sun's shining warmly, the warm breeze, and the lovely fragrance of blooming flowers grazing my nose. Ah, this is truly happiness. Uh, it sure is. It sure is great to be happy, isn't it? I think there's something yeah. else he's not telling us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's Twitter pated. Winner shop. If you shop here, you're a winner. Oh my, you're not going to get very far if you don't equip yourself with better things. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need some better things. <laughs> Armor. Less Armor. damage. Hey, 
right. Nah. That is so not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me so mad. <laughs> Fifteen caves. <laughs> I'm going to wear all of them! <laughs> <laughs> At least you'll be very warm. <laughs> no more apple shield. Maybe. That's kind of a drastic drop. Oh. Hmm? I had the reverse doll on him. I guess he died and when he came back to life it got rid of it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know you equipped it. I thought I had gotten more than one of those. Leather capes for everyone! Yay! I should have just given her two other capes. <laughs> Cape and capelet. Oh, yeah, the white cloak was for someone else. Yep. It was for. Farrah. Yeah, Farah. Sell stuff. Hooray! Then I won't feel quite as broke as I feel right now. <laughs> Maybe keep the round shield you just got if you need more defense. It's weird. Getting... That's nice. Yeah. That's for when I'm broke later and really need better armor. If you're broke later and need levels, you can just throw the controller at me and I can grind. <laughs> and I will do that. I know. <laughs> I forgot about rune bottles. Those are pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't forget to equip! Don't forget! It's locked. <laughs> oh, wait! <laughs> what is it? You aren't accompanied by a Sebastian, are you? Uh... Oh, of course not! Hmm... I guess you're right. If all Celestians were little girls like her, we wouldn't have any trouble at all. Hmm... Do you want to learn about the Celestians? You are wise, what do you wish to learn? <clears throat> Stelestian's bodies are covered with hair like a beast. <laughs> Their faces are said to be scary enough to make your hair stand on end. Okay. Would you like to learn about Celestian stereotypes? <laughs> it's said that they have long fingernails sharp enough to cut stone. They can slice inferians to ribbons in a blink of an eye. Celestia is a place of total chaos. It's a world of murder and violence. And no civilization can possibly flourish in its wake of chaos. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> the Celestian's goal is to reduce Inferia to defeat and despair. <laughs> Nothing pleases them more than seeing pain and sadness brought to Inferians. <laughs> With you? <laughs> <laughs> How wonderful! Uh, mm, a young swordsman, a country girl, and a foreign dancer! I can't wait to see how the story unfolds! When does the performance start? Um, performance? We are actors. Mm. Oh. You aren't? Oh. All of you look so eccentric, I just assumed. 
Eh. Don't care now. I didn't know you were street performers. <laughs> This building is the Royal Playhouse. It's a prestigious playhouse with a hundred year history. Oh. Here at Seyfried Sanctuary, we also lend our ears to the troubles of the common people. How very generous of you. Our feature play for today is Tale of Ultus Vague. Would you like to see it? Thank you. Please go right inside. It's the revival of the Tale of Ultus Vague, a big hit from more than a decade ago. I'm so excited. Welcome! If you hurry, you can still find a few seats. Um. Say, Clara, did you know? I hear the Count's fiance will make her debut at the next ball. I wonder who it is. Oh, come on. Don't act like you don't know anything. Well, congratulations. Or perhaps that's a bit too hasty. Oh my. I've spent too much time here talking. Mm. Yes, it's already dark. Take care, Clara, and have a good evening. Goodbye. My lady, wait! Who's there? Young lady, are you content as you are now? Doesn't your future hold something else for you? Damn it, that's the eighth person. He's only after the noble ladies. Was it him? Go ahead and. Was it him again? He has two voices. <laughs> An odd tale. Once upon a time, a town was wrapped in fear. Noble women were kidnapped, one after another, by someone. With the whereabouts of the ladies unknown, the criminal had left but one clue. The name of Ultus Vey. A criminal with no history. Who is Ultus Vey? What does he want? And with that, our time together has drawn to a close for today. Farewell. If you want to know my motives, you'll have to pay for Act 2. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of seats available. Yeah. Tale of Ultus Vey has a total of eight acts. You'll have to pay for each one separately. Can't wait for it to start. I want to go backstage. Fine. Oh, okay. It's a good tale, you know. 
You really should pay for it. Come back in. But I have a story to deal with. Not just the story inside need, the game. You need to see the story within the story. To think the king is just through this gate. <sighs> that sure is a splendid building. Milk and I sell all kinds of food. Give me sandwich ingredients. Please buy everything. I can't afford everything. You're missing a food. No, I'm not. <laughs> He's coming again. Hey, have you heard? It seems that Lord Rowan has been making advances on Princess Serende quite boldly of late. Making advances? What? Do I have to spell it out? A marriage proposal. Proposal. Whoa. Does this mean the love triangle is official? Yeah, that's right. And we all know that Princess Serende has always carried a torch for Lord Luin. Are you suggesting that Lord Rowan is going to make a play for the princess while Lord Luin is away? I think we're going to see bloodshed! Oh! Yay? Happiness! <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose the king would be here. Royal Observatory. The floor is very shiny. You don't care about the fanny floors, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> How geeky! <laughs> what are those clothes you're wearing? You look like a country boy! Is that routine uh, disguise? Put a sock in it! This is all I've got! Got a problem with that? <laughs> Reed, cut it out! She's just a kid! I'm only telling the truth. Mm. It's no surprise that those who look like bar barbarians act like barbarians. Uh, I'll show you act like a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Equipped with a good weapon, I can be just as strong too. Oh yeah? Try me. I ain't losing to some muscle-bound moron. That must be the arena. Ooh. Yay, she finally gets one. <laughs> Grave will send you to your grave. He's back to using axes. Oh, that's nice. Absolutely. Dirty bird whistle. Maybe it will randomly summon chocobos in addition to controlling quickie. <laughs> You have to win the city championship before you challenge the national championship. That's the rule. If you overestimate your strength, you'll die. I hear you get a really big cash prize if you win the arena tournament. They're wheat heads. <laughs> or bales of hay. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. No matter how bad that you get hurt, you have nothing to fear. Or the other guy said we would die. <laughs> so if, if your arm gets ripped off and your head bashed in, I'll take good care of you. <laughs> Just because, because they're monsters. Oh. You, you can do it. I don't even know if it's a guy. Oh, it is a guy. He's just complaining because he doesn't want to see monsters get beat up anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
monsters are animals too. I just love men who put their their lives before something else. On the line to fight. On the line to fight. On the line to fight. Not the lawn. I said line. Okay, I thought it was like lawn. They're clapping. Wiggling my feet. <laughs> this is pure entertainment. And we're back where we started. I'm surprised we didn't find a wonder chef in all those places. I know. I don't think I yeah. saw him anywhere. Maybe he's in the castle. I hope hey. so. Yeah. I can. Hold on. Ooh. We're gonna get told to go away, aren't we? Probably. What do you want? We would like to see the king. The king? Hmm. This is a matter of grave concern for Inferia. The details are written in these papers. It's imperative that we see the king at once. <laughs> you can't be serious. Insolent fools. You want a trip to the dungeon? Or perhaps a beating right here? Whoa! We're leaving! Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> she stick her tongue out or something? I think she bowed. Oh. I'm not sure. Uh, probably. That's how guards are. They're all muscle and no brains. To think that our illustrious king is protected by those dingbats. <laughs> Illustrious? Does that mean great? Yeah, after all, he is the king. Why is he great? Because he's the king. I guess a Celestian wouldn't understand. Uh, what? The king is a sacred and noble presence. He's fundamentally different from people like us. Hmm? Meredy, doesn't Celestia have a king? No! We are all equal! No special people! I see. Perhaps the reason Celestia is so barbarous is because they've never known the rule of a king. <laughs> Celestians, not barbarians! Uh, come on, stop the fruitless debate. We should be figuring out what to do next. I'm not done being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try going to the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. You mean the tall building over there? Pan. Oh. That's right. It boasts the world's most precise telescope. Should they allow us to use it, we may be able to objectively determine if the Grand Fall is actually true or not. How do you know we won't get kicked out again? Top scientists from all over are gathered in the observatory. They're not muscle-bound guards. Then we should have no problem getting in. Let's go! I'm counting that on your no problem counter. No problem! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should we be in here? If it isn't okay, someone will tell us, right? <laughs> right? Sure. What's this thing? It's an ancient map of the heavens made in the Melnix area. I wonder how the ancient people hit upon this crazy idea. Hmm. Okay, the Wonder Chef was in one of those buildings. 
Claudio Zosimos. He's the count. He's the chancellor. Canc chancellor. Okay. He's the chancellor of this royal observatory of astronomy. He is also the leading academic authority in Inferia. You don't say. Which one? Let's see. Um, just tell me the building. Let's see. From here, you go east to the next. You don't area. know what the name of the building is. It's not telling me the name of the building. Mm -hmm. So you got to go east. Uh, from where you were. This is east, right? Oh. Yeah. It says enter the building to the north as you enter, and inside, check the plant next to the stairs to find a lens. Wow, really? Oh. Check the plant on the west side of the room, a darker plant to find the wonder shelf. Ah. Alright, the mysterious. <laughs> wasn't I reading it? You can read it if oh, you yeah, want you to. Oh yeah, you were. I am the mysterious wonder chef. I'll show you how to make soft cake that's not too filling and easy on your stomach. Soft cake. Soft cake has four ingredients. Eggs, karima, milk, and strawberries. Have a nice day! <laughs> you didn't stand out enough. Yeah. <laughs> I can still get any sneakier. Are. I'm not sure what you use the lenses for in this game. Can you look at them in your inventory? Um, I think you... Don't you just use them to look at monsters? Don't know. I'm not even seeing it there. Oh, that's spectacles. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh well. No explanation. Throughout oh well. the game, you'll come across lens, invisible items hidden in weird places. If you collect enough of these and hand them to Irene at the top of the first screen in Chambered, you'll get some pretty nice items. Hmm. However, they're almost impossible to find without a guide or examining every square inch of the world. Zosimos so was the first person to succeed in measuring the distance from the surface to the Orbis barrier. The distance is 30 kalanjis. The diameter of the Seyfert ring is believed to be 30 kalanjis. It slowly rotates clockwise, with the revolution taking exactly one day. Understand the Orbis physics through pictures. The Seyfert ring supports the weight of Inferia and Celestia, a pillar supporting the world, if you will. If the sun is in the Orbis barrier, why is it in the same place at the same time every day? Hmm, I have no idea. <laughs> Bridge of Light, fact versus legend. <laughs> la la la. Hey, Kiel, it's off limits to visitors. We're not visitors, we have a purpose. Stop right there. Hmm? No unauthorized persons are allowed inside. Hmm. Let us go to the observation room. We absolutely must use the telescope. What are you going to do? I want to measure the change in distance between Inferia and Celestia. The change? The distance between Inferia and Celestia never changes! Taking the measurement is pointless. How can you be so sure? Do you take periodic measurements? Well, no, but we did take one about two years ago. Aren't those, aren't those measurements a little outdated? 
Watch who you criticize. All measurements are carried out systematically under Chancellor Zosimos' orders. If you come anywhere near the observation room, I'll call the guards. Please at least read my thesis. Anybody familiar with the light crane mail theory would understand its significance immediately. Stay back! What is your problem? <laughs> Let's go. We'll be in serious trouble if he calls the guards. Keel! There's still a way. Stretchy. <laughs> I laugh at your thesis. What was all that ruckus? I, I'm very sorry. I'll clean up right away. 